Aha, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> uh, I will be honest with you. Um, I'm supposed to be in a meeting at the moment <laughs> for educational purposes, and um, I ditched that immediately. <laughs> Not my fault, the sound and video doesn't work. That gives me a perfect excuse. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Kind of an area. Ooh, pretty club, club constellation. Oh, that's cute. I'm also supposed to do homework as well. I've, I'm actually doing a lot of things. <laughs> But my laptop's playing up, so it's just like, you know what, leave that, I'm going to record a video. So anyway, that was a long ass intro and explanation for why we're recording this today. Yeah. So today, my fellow humans, we're, we're going to be playing Harry Potter Horse Mystery. I'm going to turn the music down. So we got our pride hair that we got from last month. I say that like... I say that like it was like... Like a month ago. It wasn't. It's only been like a couple of days since the 30th of June. Because I'm filming this the Saturday after. The 30th of June. Yeah. So yeah, so we're here with our beautiful Luna Death, still doing great in the house. Cup. Ravenclaw is beating us at the moment. Last time we checked, it was Hufflepuff. I'm proud for our little Ravenclaws. After all, after all, I could have been in Ravenclaw, because I'm technically a Sliverclaw. Wait. Yeah, Sliverclaw, that's what it is. Not a raven wren. <laughs> sliver claw. I'm technically a sliver claw. Claw. But. I fail. <laughs> I think the only reason why I would be a raven claw is that I like information. I will use that information against you. That's what makes me a sliver. <laughs> I like information. I like having information. I like to be the more superior out of a lot of people. All of my friends are a lot more intelligent than me. <laughs> but I do like having information. But sadly, I'm the person who will use that information against someone else. As I've done plenty of times, I'm a very... I'm very competitive. So, <laughs> that's why I'm in Slytherin. <laughs> God damn it. I'm competitive and ambitious to fucking win shit. Oh God. Is in the store then. Oh, what the? <gasps> oh my god, you're stunning. As you see, I keep on buying the dyed hair. <laughs> I keep on doing that. I'm not going to apologize for it because now I've got a beautiful collection of dyed hair. Mm. Oh. Oh, that looks so cute. It doesn't work with my outfit though. Also, I still hate this. Actually, this hair kind of works well with this outfit. Even though I still hate the skirt, it still works well with the outfit. Nah, it doesn't work well with my ideal outfit. It works well with this one and this one. That's because it's just color. Hmm. <sighs> We got new rainbow hair, but we're staying with the buns because I like the buns and it fits with most of my outfits. So we're going with the buns. Um, yes. First, we need to feed some critters. Oh. Do I want to meet the Malfoys? Technically, we're only meeting a Malfoy. Hmm. Sure, why the fuck not? I'm supposed to feed my pets, but um, 
We want to see a Malfoy, don't we? Great hall. Alright, let's do this fuckery. <laughs> let's do this fuckery. Oh my god, why Malfoys? Uh, this is just like a random quest that you can do, so it doesn't really mean anything. It only means that you could possibly be friends with Dobby. And to be honest... Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to deal with Dobby, I can't. I don't have the personality that... But, yeah, <laughs> my personality won't work well with Dobby because I'll either get really pissed off or either really sad if I'm around Dobby, and that's it. At least someone's taking a good look at this school. Ah, Filch. Douche. Can I call you Sir Douche? You feel like a douche. Oh, Marula? Dumbledore's making an announcement. This is your fault, isn't it? Marula, I love you to pieces. I expect you'll be on your best behaviour death. My the triple reminder. Um, my last name is Death. I apologize for the loud noise. I'm getting to a better scene position. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, this is better because now I know that I can't get jump scared from any side of my body. <sighs> because I'm gonna explain this. I have a door on my um left side, and I have a window on my right. So, I just don't want to be jump scared if I turn my back on either one. Because I am very thingy. Uh, I will not be in my best behaviour. I want to see, I want to see, hello. Professor Dumbledore said he's making an announcement today. Any idea what about? I've picked up a few things. Really? What have you heard? I heard someone important is visiting Hogwarts. Someone important? Who? Let's put the sound up. Looks like we're about to find out. The Hogwarts Board of Governors have asked that I make an announcement on their behalf. And as they are tasked with the care of the school, we must oblige them. Oblige them. Ugh, speech. Oblige them. Uh, <laughs> why am I so shit? We're gonna ignore that I can't say an actual English word. Oblige them. Professor Dumbledore, what exactly is the Board of uh, Governors? Excellent question. Allow me to explain. Blah, 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 blah. Death features, blah, 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 blah. Probably better than Dumbledore. Blah, 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 blah. Board of Governors. There you go. <laughs> Technical things. To be honest, if the Board of Governors added more topics into Hogwarts, more things, I don't care if they're all Death Eaters. <laughs> that sounds really bad. <laughs> but really, there's so many possibilities in Hogwarts lessons. They still don't know simple biology. Why don't they know simple biology? They don't get taught simple biology. I'm not a biology student, but I will say I did enjoy biology GCSE. And that's only because my teacher praised me. <laughs> ha I can make a perfect food chain. I'm amazing. Anyway. Oh, this is going to be joyful. I don't have any energies for the actual thing in a bit. Ah, let me talk to you. Benny, the school governor sounded powerful. I've never heard of them before. <laughs> Do the Hogwarts governors know about the curse vaults? Professor Snape looks tense, doesn't he? How does someone become a Hogwarts governor, is there an election? I think there probably is, but within the governors themselves. Okay, so 
the school governors are gonna be I'm gonna sound quite prejudiced in the Harry Potter Hogwarts way, but they're probably not gonna be muggle-borns, particularly. I'm gonna explain this. Now, when I think Board of Governors, I think of someone who knows m basically most of the, of the magical world. So muggle-borns aren't exactly ideal because they get introduced to the Harry Potter world, they learn magic and shit. That's all they really know. <laughs> they don't really know, like, culturally and, like, all around. They don't really get taught that. If I explain this correctly. So I believe that the Board of Governors are mostly going to be pure bloods or half bloods who have grown up in the wizarding world. Since that will make it a lot more understanding of, like, what should magical children learn and that would kind of make it better because diversity <laughs> it sounds quite prejudiced but we all know we all know that the magical world in the harry potter universe is very prejudiced even when they defeat voldemort it's still prejudiced against dark arts people <laughs> still quite a prejudiced place altogether no matter if Voldemort was killed or not, it still got prejudice. Everyone's got prejudice. So it may sound unfair, but it is the most likely answer you got. The school governors sound powerful, but I've never heard of them before. How have you not? <laughs> I've heard of them too much. The Hogwarts are responsible for the well-being of the school. Thank you. You're not going to share anything else with me. That's sad. The governors ensure Hogwarts remains the finest school of magic in the world. Have you seen the fan fictions? <laughs> okay, in the fan fiction world of Harry Potter or fan fictions about Harry Potter, they make Hogwarts to be the worst fucking school. <laughs> Excuse me, love. There are many magical schools as well in the magical universe, as expressed information on Potter Thingy Bobby. Pottermore? Is that the name of the website? I don't fucking know. I haven't been on there for years. So, and how Hogwarts is portrayed in like fan fictions and things like that. No. They don't really like Hogwarts. They like the schools which have variety in lessons. I'm just saying here. This is proof from the fan fictions that I read, which is biased because I have particular taste in fan fiction. So now that you understood the understand the role of the Board of Governors, I have an announcement to make. One of the school governors will conduct an inspection of Hogwarts. Allow me to introduce Mr. Lucius Malfoy. Let's see this fucker. I look very... Hmm. If that doesn't say posh bastard, I don't know what will. Um. You know what? You know what? This person reminds me of that very, like, popular guy from Attack on Titan who died, like, at the very beginning of Attack on Titan season five, four. You know, the newest season. <laughs> the newest season where Eren is a complete douche, but everyone still loves him. Well, the fandom loves him, at least. <laughs> but he's the guy that Eren eats. Spoilers. I forgot to put spoilers. Sorry. That's what he reminds me of. He's still like like a posh douche though. I'm sure my time here will be most illuminating. I won't keep you all from this delicious feast any longer. Tuck in. Seemed a bit odd that the school governors went to inspect Hogwarts. I mean they have good reason to. Have you seen the years that Harry went through? I think they have a good enough reason to inspect Hogwarts. They have a good enough reason. They've never done that before. 
What do you think, Lena? Doesn't a surprise inspection seem suspicious? It's understandable. After everything that's happened at Hogwarts, a surprise inspection is completely understandable. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I'm gonna agree. It's quite understandable that there is that there is an inspection. It's understandable. Even though we are pre Harry Potter era here. Luna, we gotta go to Charm's classroom. Professor Flitwick wants to see us. Flitwick? What does he want? Are we babysitting little Draco? Can I babysit little Draco? I want to babysit little Draco. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? I want to babysit little Draco. <laughs> yeah, gooey bitch. I will babysit baby Draco. Oh, it's Lucius. Oh, I don't care then. <clears throat> Do you know why Professor Flitwick went to see us? I've been worrying ever since he told me. Do you think we're in trouble? Meh. Ben, you won't get in trouble. I'm the one most likely to get in trouble because I've been in trouble almost every single year that I've been here. So, mm, that's only my second year as well. I'm quite shocked. Uh, to be honest, it's understandable. Let's hope not. Good, you're both here. Why did you want to see us, Professor? Mr. Malfoy requested the chance to talk to a handful of students as part of this Hogwarts inspection. I'm the worst person. Everyone who already... Everyone who meets me has a negative perception of me, unless they're muggle-borns. But then, anyway... <laughs> and I thought of both of you. You should have asked Rowan. I mean, it's Rowan. I love you, Flitwig, but... I believe... Oh, God. <laughs> I accidentally dropped something. <laughs> there we go. Stable seat. Stable seat. Okay, there we are. I believe introductions are in order. Oh yes, Ben uh, Copper and Luna Def are two of my most talented students. Sure, we can go with that. Ah uh, yes, Luna Def. Your brother caused quite a scandal. I I I know. Everyone tells me when they meet me. And. <laughs> Why is this a recurring thing that everybody's just like, oh, you're in death? Your brother was very scandalous behavior. Why, thank you. It's not like I don't know what my brother has done. I didn't know my brother was in a scandal. I'm in my second year, you know. Fucking hell. Ah, thank you. And Mr. Cooper, was it? Uh, it's Copper, sir. Quite. Why don't you both tell Mr. Malfoy about your charm studies? It would be riveting. Let's see if I can remember everything Professor Flitwick taught me. We're not doing a fucking task. I'm already low on energies. <clears throat> anyway. Bill? Wrong one. <clears throat> meet Bill. I want to meet Bill. Oh, that definitely doesn't look concerning at all. Nope, definitely not. Are you ready for this, Bill? Ready? I'm excited. I finally get to stop talking about being a curse breaker and start acting like one. Am I gonna die? <laughs> Just a thought. Just a thought there. We need to go up the stairs and through the corridor as quickly as possible. The slower we move, the more we'll be affected by the cold. Got it. Just stay behind me so I know you're safe. Please be careful, Bill. You haven't seen anything like this before. Don't worry, Luna. The cursed vaults have never seen anything like me. 
True, very true. They've only seen Rowan, and Rowan is now petrified of them. <sighs> so reasonable assumption. We're going to the vaults. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of fucking ice. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, it is quite incredible. That's a lot of ice. Jesus Christ. It must have taken complex magic to build this place. We have to find out who built the first vault and why. You aren't exaggerating. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You weren't exaggerating about the cold, Luna. I wish I brought the woolly mittens my mum knitted me. How do you get past all this ice before? It wasn't here before. It must be another one of the vault's defences. We'll have to get rid of it. Incendio. God damn it, you're so showing how bad I am at this. There we go. Incendio. God damn it. I'm trying. I have a I don't have small fingers. There we go. Incendio. That's a little bit of fire for a lot of ice. Incendio. We're by the door now. Yay. Nice work, Luna. Now be careful, there's a beam. There's the door to the cursed vault. Be careful, Bill. That's the mistake you made last time. We have to attack before it has a chance to attack us. Incendio! That worked, didn't it? Let's crush the ice door. How big is this? Shall we leave that for the next episode? I think we do. Anyway, guys. That is it for this episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mysteries. Next time, we're going to try and fight the door. Hopefully. Hope hopefully, we fight the door. Hmm. Hey, guys. See you guys next time.